when I used to cater parties, amazingly, it was the shrimp cocktail everybody went after. And then I thought to myself, well, boiling shrimp doesn't add any flavor to it. I wonder if I can do something that will give it even more flavor. And I thought, maybe roasting. So I tried roasting shrimp, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and I couldn't believe what a difference it made. So I'm making a roasted shrimp cocktail for Jack to make at his cocktail party. People will go crazy. So what I'm doing here actually is I'm peeling the shrimp. I like to leave the tails on because when they're cooked, it's kind of a nice handle. And then I'm deveining it, run my knife right down the back. Just want to take that black vein out of the back of the shrimp and then just pull it out if it's in there. Sometimes there isn't any. Different stores and different fish shops have different ways of counting shrimp. They call them jumbo, they call them extra large, they call them enormous, I don't know. The only way to really know what size shrimp you're getting is by the count. And so I always order shrimp either from the grocery store or the fish store by the count. So these are two pounds of 12 to 15 count, which means there are 12 to 15 shrimp in a pound. Sometimes you can actually buy them just like this, peeled and deveined. These are really big shrimp. I think they look great for a cocktail party. OK, so that's the shrimp. And now I'm going to show you how to roast them. Spread them out on a sheet pan. And just olive oil, just a couple of tablespoons, salt and pepper. Toss them together. And the important thing is you don't want to pile them up. You want basically in one layer. So I'm just going to spread them out. OK. 400 degrees, 8 to 10 minutes. These are going to be so delicious. Now for the sauce. I'm a believer in classic sauces. Cocktail sauce is cocktail sauce. I just like to do it with the volume turned up. So some of the classic ingredients with a little more flavor. So I need half a cup of chili sauce. Actually, I like to combine chili sauce and ketchup. One's a little spicy, one's a little sweeter. Half a cup of ketchup. That should be about right. Three tablespoons of horseradish. Give it lots of spice, lots of heat. One, two. Splash of Worcestershire sauce. Give it a little depth of flavor. Splash of Tabasco, give it more heat, but a different kind of heat. And because I like the fresh flavor, a little bit of lemon to give it a nice sort of fresh citrusy flavor. Always goes with shrimp. A couple of teaspoons. Now, how easy is that? And that's the sauce. OK, I'm going to set it up. Bowl for the sauce in the middle. And the shrimp should be ready. Oh, they look fantastic. Now, how fast is that? OK, they're going to be really hot, but whoop, if I work fast, I can do it. The shrimp are actually best if they're served warm or room temperature. These look really great. Well, I know how people went for the shrimp cocktail when I was catering, and we just used the boiled shrimp and perfectly good cocktail sauce, but not great cocktail sauce like this. People are going to go crazy. Fantastic. Shrimp cocktail, really fast and so delicious. That looks pretty good. OK, that's the last appetizer done. I'm just going to print off this plan for Jack. And then he's going to be by, and I'm going to show him how to set up a bar table. He'll be all set.